Hey, Davenport here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, it's funny, I've been reading a lot today about the invasion of America, the invasion of Canada, the invasion of so many of our states here in the United States uh, with Muslims. And mostly uh, the thing that I'm worried about is Sharia law. Sharia law is coming to Canada and the Canadians have just sat back and done absolutely nothing about it to speak of. Merkel is dead set in Germany on bringing in Sharia law. Merkel is making a law to fine social media companies millions of dollars uh, for not taking away the news that they do not like. Whatever Merkel doesn't like there in Germany, it must be removed or the social media company will be fined and the person can go to jail or be fined who is saying whatever it is that they do not want them to say. Freedom of speech, folks, is <sighs> gone. Um, and if you think it's bad now, just wait. It's going to get much, much worse. I know that many of you think I'm crazy on my Facebook page for some of the things I post, but I'm just testing social media in many cases by writing the most radical, outlandish, things that I can possibly write to see if they shut my page down or to see what kind of uh, action they take against me. I uh, really don't care if it offends you or not. Uh, I'm not here to please anyone in particular. Uh, I'm here with my own social media agenda, my own itinerary, and I will continue on my course as I see fit. But I will tell you that Sharia law is coming to America and as I said before it's already in many states with the Muslims having a majority in those states things are getting really really bad for Americans and I really do not know why Americans are not standing up against this in any meaningful way and as I said it's going to get much much worse I feel like I'm talking to a dead audience here um, a dead fan base if you will you know the reason I call so many of you clueless is because I post some very explosive things on my page and uh, all I get is a like and maybe a very simple simpleton comment every once in a while my my numbers are way way up across 26 platforms and I'm not worried about a lack of fans we're getting our SEOs done our search engine optimization done and that's going to open the Google gate wide to a broader audience a broader fan base a broader support base for the station but I'm telling you folks it's gonna get bad we've got so many problems on campus right now all across the United States with these hypersensitive students. Uh, you can't be politically incorrect. You can't voice your true opinions. Uh, you have to stay in the closet or fear getting arrested or fined or kicked out of school or whatever. I don't really know what's causing all of this. I know many of you will have several opinions on it. But um, I really have no idea what's going on with this except just general evolution of humanity. We are peaking. Uh, we are coming over that curve, uh, that bell curve, and we're on the way down. Uh, as a society, as a nation, we're on the way down that slippery slope to the end of a civilization if you will I don't know where it's going to end I don't know what we're going to do but so far I don't see us doing very much and I will say you don't know what you're missing if you're not involved with the station here you really don't know what you're missing if you're not involved with the news stories that we're working on you really don't know what you're missing. Uh, this is the real deal. What we're doing is the real deal. 
we're out in the street doing the work with the homeless, doing the work with the mentally ill, doing the work that needs to be done on the front lines. We work with other people that share our passion for these things up here in the Northwest. And uh, boy, that was a hell of a hiccup. And uh, we are getting some things done, but not near enough, not near enough. Um, I'm very surprised that America is not up on its feet and in the street over this Sharia law deal. I'm really surprised that millions of people are not up on their feet saying no but hell no to this cult we call Islam. Islam is a cult dead out. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's not a religion. It's not a philosophy. It's a cult. It's a very violent cult, a very dangerous cult. It's dangerous to our women and dangerous to our children. And I don't want to hear the rants about the Crusades and what all Christians did. Christians aren't doing that now. Uh, Christians are very peaceful, a very peaceful people. They might get in your face and proselytize. And they might drive you nuts with scripture, but they're a very peaceful people around the world. Muslims are very dangerous and very two-faced and very, very hypocritical. Uh, they come in like a lamb and they go out like a lion. And they're here to take over America. They're here to make Sharia law throughout the land of America. And they're here to make America Islamic State. The Islamic State. That is what they've proclaimed in the mainstream media. And that's what they're here to do. My question is, are we going to sit back on our ass and let this happen? I hope not. I hope some of you that hear my voice will go and talk to your coworkers, your friends, and your family and others and tell them to do whatever they can do. Post whatever they can post about this issue. Go look it up on Google. The more we can post, the more people we can reach. I'm going to be talking about a little bit of this on the show tomorrow night with Charles Stecker. I've got Charles Stecker coming on to talk about a couple of his organizations he's working with to protect children. And um, I'm going to bring this up tomorrow night because it does affect what he's doing. So uh, until then, unless I decide to come back on, I'll be back.